Today we will be providing some updates on Before the 90 Days Season 5 cast members. Stay tuned to find out which couples are still together and which couples have broken up. 51-year-old Gino and 34-year-old Jasmine enjoyed an immediate connection when they met for the first time after the Michigan native arrived in her native country of Panama, nine months after the couple met online. Even though the couple had some of the most explosive fights during their season, their trip still ended with a romantic proposal. We got married. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Gina just proposed. And she said yes! <laughs> One of their fights was in regard to Gino, paying women, whom he called as bees, for going out to have dinner. This is depressing because men like you take advantage of women that need it. And if I'm gonna date a sugar daddy, if that's gonna be my business, which I'm not interested in, look at me. And I'm intelligent. I will get a sugar daddy that is the sugar daddy of the sugar daddies. Not a crazy old man, long and depressing from Michigan. Give me a break. Surprisingly, during the tell-all episode, Jasmine revealed that she too met Gino on a sugar baby website. What site did you and Jasmine meet on? I, I don't like lying. All right, so we met on a sh sugar baby site. I have my best friend, you know, and she suggested uh, putting my ad on a website, you know, for dating internationally. I have no idea what the website was about. It appears that Gino and Jasmine are still together. They have been sharing mutual photos via Instagram, and they speak fondly of each other. But they seem to still be in a long-distance engagement as they wait for the K-1 visa processing. During the tell-all episode, Gino confirmed that he filed for the K-1 visa a couple of months ago, and Jasmine is currently still in Panama. I have a K-1 visa in process. You do? Okay. I submitted to immigration, and we're about at the fifth month or so okay. waiting, or sixth, actually. Gino had also visited Panama after the show's filming. Rumor has it once Jasmine arrives to the United States, the couple will film for 90 Day Fiancé. There was also a rumor that Gina and Jasmine are expecting a baby. The rumor stems from the couple's April's Fool's post, where they said that they were expecting, but later revealed that the new addition to their family is a bunny. At first, Jasmine didn't publicly deny the pregnancy rumors, though in one of her social media posts, she said she only wants to have children after three years of happy marriage. According to Jasmine, she made a lot of bad decisions in the past to please people, and going forward, she wants to prioritize herself. She also addressed some accusations of trying to baby trap Gino. Jasmine said, quote, I will never see having a kid as a way to trap a man, get financial security, get a green card, or secure my future. If I want a million dollars, I will get a million dollars by myself. Jasmine later officially confirmed that she is not pregnant, and in fact, she would like to do an IVF procedure in the future to have twins. Thirty-four-year-old Memphis and twenty-six-year-old Hamza met for the very first time in January of 2021 when Memphis traveled from Michigan to Tunisia to marry Hamza. During Memphis's trip to Tunisia, she expressed doubts about marrying Hamza when it turned out that he lied about his age. She also noted that he was quick in bed. Hamza was likewise hesitant to tie the knot, thinking that Memphis was pushing for marriage until she really got to know him. Nonetheless, the couple decided to get married, and they had a beautiful wedding ceremony. During their honeymoon, Memphis revealed that she had gotten pregnant. During the tell-all episode filming, Memphis left the set due to feeling sick, and she did not provide an update on her relationship with Hamza. The Tunisian man confirmed he made it to the United States on a CR1 spousal visa. He said that the visa process was delayed due to COVID, and he only managed to arrive to the United States 
five weeks after their baby was born. The gender of the baby was not confirmed during the Talal episode. According to Hamza's sister, Ravia, Memphis gave birth to a baby girl, whose name starts with K. Ravia also hinted that the couple will appear on another season of 90 Day Fiancé. Memphis confirmed that she indeed had a daughter, but she will not be showing her photos on social media. When it comes to Memphis's absence at the tell-all, Ravia confirmed that she and her mom were supposed to appear during the filming, but something happened, and that something is not mentioned yet. She added a sticker to her statement that said, all you do is lie. Previously, Memphis implied that Hamza was abusive, and her mom claimed the same on social media. Hamza's sister said that Memphis and her family are lying. Furthermore, she said that Hamza was not treated well by Memphis. When it comes to their current relationship status, we can't say for certain that they have broken up, considering the abuse allegations and the fact that they don't follow each other on social media, it is unlikely that they are still together. Though Memphis recently posted her pregnancy photoshoot and said in the caption that it's her latest pregnancy with her current husband. Ravia said that she did not officially confirm that Memphis and Hamza have broken up. On Before the 90 Days, Ben, a 52-year-old divorced father of four from Michigan, documented his travels to Peru to meet 22-year-old Mahogany. The couple met online three months prior to filming. And although they had never video chatted, and Ben's friends and family believing she was a catfish, and Mahogany telling him not to come, he still boarded his flight. After chasing his online girlfriend for a few days, Ben finally met Mahogany in person. But their trip was full of tension, as they dealt with trust issues on both parts, since neither felt the other was being truthful about their pasts. Although it seemed like the relationship was over for good, after they got into a fight on the season finale, Ben and Mahogany reconciled by the time they filmed the tell-all. In an unlikely turn of events, Ben traveled to Peru yet again, as shown during the tell-all episode, and during his second trip, they became girlfriend and boyfriend. That's when she said that she loves me no matter what. I'm still not sure that uh, we're going to make it but we both decided to give another shot. Predictions. All right, I'm about to make a prediction. What's that? That Maogani and I, one year from now, <laughs> oh we'll be gosh. back here in this park. Yes. As husband and wife. Oh my gosh, baby. That's my Love prediction. You. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Interestingly, Mahogany said that Ben still has more to prove, as he deceived her, saying that the second meeting would not be shown on TV. The couple appears to be still together, as they were spotted after the tell filming. At the end of February 2022, a Reddit user posted a photo of the pair walking together at a mall in Lima, Peru. The user added, they seem to be a couple with no cameras in sight. Ben and Mahogany haven't publicly addressed their current relationship status. This leads us to believe that the couple might appear on another season of 90 Day Fiancé. Meanwhile, Ben only says positive things about Mahogany online. Ben addressed his behavior on the show on his social media, saying that he had received a lot of hate, but Ben admitted that there was some truth to the fans' criticism. This has been really good for me. Really, really good for me. I've gotten more hate than I've ever had in my life, and... <laughs> Uh, the DMs, like, I don't wish them on my worst enemy. They, they've been rough. They're bad. <laughs> um, but honestly, you can take it either, like, in a, in a way that just crushes your soul, or you can just say, wait a minute, there is going to be a nugget of truth in every hateful troll's comment. And as I watched a few clips of myself on this season, you know, I found myself very self-interested and very overbearing, very pushy, and not listening to people. And God's behind me, so I get to do it. Because if God says to do it, then I get to do it. And it just looked like I was getting, you That's know. That's not who you are. It, it's, it's not. It's not. And I, I did talk about God a lot. And there was so much that was cut from the show about my relationship with God that it came out to look like I just wanted to get out of, you know, trouble with by saying God's for it. You know, that's all it looked like. 
And, and that is just not true. And I, I don't think I represented God well. Um, you know, I do believe in Jesus. I believe uh, that he's my savior. He's forgiven me. But um, it just looks like I was using him for my own convenience. And that's dreadful. That is not who I am and it's not who God is. And it really was disappointing to watch that. On before the 90 days, Johnny, a 34-year-old single dad from China, was supposed to travel to the United States to meet his 29-year-old girlfriend, Ella. The initial plan was for Johnny to quarantine in Singapore before traveling to the US to spend a few months with Ella. However, Johnny's travel plans were hindered due to the denial of the Singapore visa. Then, Johnny was planning to travel via Dubai and Ella offered to meet him there. But the Chinese native decided to postpone his trip again due to the quarantine concerns. Meanwhile, Ella demanded to have an open relationship in case the couple doesn't meet in Dubai. Even before Johnny confirmed that he is indeed not coming, Ella confessed to him that she had been unfaithful. Johnny ultimately promised to finally meet Ella in February of 2022. I gonna go, maybe 100%. If like after February, I definitely go. Weather, the word is uh, on, on fire, like a typhoon or tornado. I gonna go, go there. During the Tell episode that was filmed in mid-January, Ella and Johnny confirmed that they are still together and are very, very strong. Ella confessed she thinks that out of all the couples on this season, her and Johnny's relationship is the most stable and that she plans to finally meet him. Johnny and I are still as strong as ever. I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty sure we are the most stable relationship. <laughs> After one month from today, my man will be here. I know that we're going to get married and we are going to start having children in three years. When it comes to the couple's current relationship status, Ella and Johnny are yet to meet each other in real life. The couple appears to be together, but still in a long-distance relationship. Johnny wrote a long explanation on Instagram as to how it's his fault that the couple hasn't met yet and that Ella had cheated on him. Moreover, Johnny mentioned on his social media that the nearest available date to go to the US is in August and the plane tickets are extremely expensive. During the tell-all episode, Ella was confronted by the remaining cast members due to her cheating on Johnny and inviting another man for a sleepover. Serious, Ella no respects Johnny. Yeah, I'm serious. And that's going very low. Cheating is not acceptable. It's not. Why would you call a man to come spend your birthday because with Because everybody bailed on me. Everybody bailed on me all the time. Are you, are you okay. a grown adult? Do you need people to like coddle you? Like you can't spend your birthday with yourself? Ella addressed this on her social media. In her post tell all statement, Ella wrote, I was a little disappointed in the tell all cast, but I respected everyone and did not lash out. However, I was attacked and unable to state that Johnny and I were in an open relationship. Second off, we had never even met, so you can be upset and think I cheated. I don't believe I did, and neither did Johnny. In her post, Ella also confirmed that the couple's journey will continue on 90 Day Diaries. 50-year-old superfan Kimberly met her 32-year-old idol Usman Umar, aka Soja Boy, on Zanzibar, Tanzania during Before the 90 Days season 5. While initially she only had the status of a potential girlfriend, by the end of her trip, Usman pronounced her his official girlfriend and queen Kimberly. During the tell -all episode for Before the 90 Days season 5, Kim found out that Usman called his ex, Zara after she left to the United States. Kimberly was quite upset when she found out about it, and her son, Jamal, noted that Usman did seem to have some feelings for Zara. What did you think about the call? I find that mad disrespectful to my mom because he knew how she felt about him. She did all this for you, and like, I know more than anybody. My mom's been soldier boy this, Usman that, and it seems like he was kind of juggling between what he was gonna do which to me tells me that he might still have some kind of connection or some feelings with Zara. 
I know what I just saw. I saw a connection. However, Usman claimed on his social media that his call to Zara took place at a different time and he had to be backed by the production to call her. We spoke about Soja Boy blasting TLC for his Zara storyline in our previous video. Usman and Kimberly are surprisingly still together. According to Soja Boy, despite the ups and downs in their relationship, they always make it work. Rumor had it Kim had traveled to meet Usman's family and friends in his home country of Nigeria and was filmed for another season of 90 Day Fiancé. There are also rumors of a possible engagement, though this is yet to be confirmed. On Before the 90 Days Season 5, 28-year-old Arizona native Caleb traveled to Turkey to meet his 27-year-old Russian online girlfriend Alina. Caleb and Alina's storyline was cut short on this season due to the latter being fired for her racist and insensitive posts on social media. The couple's storyline concluded mid-season with the revealing that they have broken up. Caleb told Alina that he doesn't see his life to be helping someone as much as she requires due to her condition. He said that one day he might regret this decision, but ultimately it seems that he had now moved on. As early as of December last year, it was reported that Caleb was going on dates in the United States. When it comes to Alina, she appears to be still single. After their breakup, Caleb and Alina appeared to remain friendly. But currently, while Alina follows Caleb on social media, he does not follow her back. The Russian native made quite a few statements and videos to apologize for her past social media posts. She also addressed her thoughts about her fellow 90 Day Fiancé cast member Mike not being fired despite the resurfacing of his past social media posts of a racist and transphobic nature. And recently, my fellow castmate had a very similar situation. Surely, I got interested in how the situation will unfold, because it's just so similar to mine. But I feel like my fellow castmate wasn't held to the same standards as I was. My posts and my behavior were addressed, and the sanctions were put on me because of them. But nothing was addressed when the same thing happened to my castmate. He didn't do anything, and nor the network. Needless to say, the majority of meme accounts and fan pages are not even posting about it. So it really got me thinking, why? And I think it's closely connected to sexism and ableism. Caleb and Alina were not invited to the tell -all episode filming. Now, there is one couple who will not be joining us tonight, Caleb and Alina. Caleb posted a video to his social media, jokingly saying that the tell-all was so tense, he is glad he is sitting this one out. He has also invited his fellow Before the 90 Days cast members to visit Arizona. Caleb also mentioned he would love to be on another season of 90 Day Fiancé. Thirty-four-year-old Mike traveled to Colombia on 90 Day Fiancé to meet his 24-year-old girlfriend Jimena, whom he originally met on a webcam site. During his first trip, Mike proposed to Jimena, and despite being disgusted with his habits, she accepted his proposal. However, Mike had to come back to Colombia in a few months when he noticed that Jimena's behavior has changed. During the second trip, Jimena confessed she is not in love with Mike, and she broke up with him. The couple ended the season with a nasty breakup, but by the time they returned to film the towel episode in January of 2022, they were already back together as boyfriend and girlfriend, though Jimena reiterated that she still doesn't love Mike, and he knows that. <laughs> Pues estamos de novios. Vea, yo estoy, bueno, yo ahorita que estoy en Cartagena, pues voy a ver qué es lo que me haya cambiado y seguiremos juntos hasta que nos casemos. No lo amo, él lo sabe. Exacto. It seems that the couple's reconciliation was short-lived, as we confirmed that the couple split in February, after Mike's third trip to Colombia. They still appear to not be together anymore. 
He mana posted photos of her new Canadian boyfriend Romeo the day after Mike returned home from his February trip. Despite posting some photos where she was making out with Romeo, Himena was also spotted on Tinder. According to Mike's friend, Nelsi, the night before the tell-all, Himena called Mike. Nelsi implied that Himena wanted cash from Mike. Mike went live with Nelsi after the tell-all, and he said that to find out where he stands with Himena, the viewers must watch 90 Day Fiancé, implying that they will be back on another season. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video today. Please consider liking this video and share your thoughts on the season's couples in the comments below.